Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to install Viper for Android on your Nexus 6P which allows you to uh, change your music effects and stuff for your headphones and I think Bluetooth speakers as well. So today we're going to be installing it on the Nexus 6P as I've said on the latest version of Android here running the MTC 19V build as well and we're going to step right into it. So there are a few things that we need to have before this. Of course you're going to need to be rooted and also you're going to need TWRP and we'll see, you probably won't need a, uh, to set the SE Linux permissions to um, some enforcing or the E word. Okay, so let's just get started on this, shall we? So basically we're going to have a little folder to work from again. Just make a new folder anywhere that you like and you can call it Android just so we know where we're putting things and we want to head over to these links which are in the more info as well. So basically what we'll need is the latest uh, Viper for Android FX over here. And you can just get it on their website. This will be the first link. Oh yes, the downloads tab. We're gonna scroll down to Viper for Android and we have our latest one here. And we'll just download that. It is just an APK. We're gonna hit download and we're going to save it into that Android folder that we had. There it is. I'm going to save that. And the next thing we need is this version of BusyBox. Uh, if we switch over to the phone, you can see that I already have that installed. BusyBox up here. As you can see, it just looks like that. And all you need to do is install that version of BusyBox. Just tap install and you'll be set. Well, we can just install it again and it doesn't take too long. So that's it and one other thing that we need and uh, we'll also be using pretty much these instructions from Quinny899 over at XDA Developers. Uh, very useful and that is the same BusyBox version that we just I just showed you just then and we're kind of going to follow this guide here and let's let's do it. And then of course the last thing we'll look at are some of the audio presets here or uh, I'm not really cool what you call them, know what you call them, uh, I guess, different FX that we have here, such as like the Dolby one or Beats and things from other phones too. So you can have a look at that and all that. All these uh, different profiles, you can install them and, you know, music that's good to listen to it or something like that. But we'll go through installing it first and then we'll have a look at this. So once you have the APK down here, it's in our Android folder, all you gotta all you gotta do is install it and by that we'll just copy it to our device so again we need to kind of come over to the device here we're going to need to make sure USB is for file transfers and we'll pop that over there and essentially we're going to copy that APK just to the base directory doesn't really matter and we'll see it down here where is it there it is and we're going to switch over to our phone and we're going to go home we're going to go to our file manager, which I use Solid, Solid Explorer. Okay, so we'll scroll all the way down. And you're also going to make sure that you can install APKs from unknown sources. And you can see that we have our Viper for Android thing over here. We're going to install it. And we're going to hit open. Okay, so it says we're going to need to update or install the driver. We're going to hit yes and that will bring up a super SU prompt which we're going to hit grant and it should finish up in a second okay so it's finished right and what we're going to do is hit OK and we're going to restart our phone and while that restarts we're just going to do a couple more things afterward, afterwards to uh, finalize the installation and we should see it working hopefully and then maybe I might show installing one of the, the profiles here. But that, yeah, we'll see. So just turn on your device again. Alrighty, now that our phone is finished booting up, we're gonna use, go back to our file manager, Solid Explorer. Now there's the following instructions from the fellow on XDA. And we're gonna to navigate to system vendor, etc. So you also, 
need to enable or be able to uh, access the root partition, I guess. So you can do that in Solid Explorer by going to settings, scrolling to the bottom and checking show root storage over there. So once you've done that, you can go to the root, you can go to system, yep, system, and then go down to vendor, or it could have been that vendor one back there, but anyway, um, vendor, we go to etc, and we're going to find the audio effects config, we're going to delete it or get rid of it from the etc place, so I will cut it to my internal memory just on the on the root of that. So that's done. You'll see that it's not there anymore. We're going to reboot once more. And then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and disable music FX from the settings menu. Or we can use titanium backup, I think, to freeze it. And then it should be A-OK. -okay. So we'll have a look at that once our phone boots back up. So now that our phone has booted up once more, we're going to go and disable audio effects. So we're going to do that by going to settings, then going to apps, tapping a little uh, three dots there, the menu, and click on show system. And we're going to scroll down to music FX, E F G H I M. There it is. And you're going to tap on disable. And then we should go back to our audio or Viper for Android. FX right there. There we are. Our driver is done. I guess that is what it means when it doesn't pop up again. And we can see we can enable the phone speaker. Some people are saying it doesn't work on the phone speaker. For now, we're going to do it on the headset. And let's see if we have any of the the presets. So assume these are these are the default presets here. And you can add them from this thing. Okay. Now I tried installing that Viper, uh, the the one with the Dolby on it, Atmos. And I assume it's only for ARM and not ARM64, which, which this is, so it didn't really flash well. So what I'm hoping for is that it still works, but I can't really demonstrate it, can I? Well, it works, I guess, the preset. You could change it while listening to it, but at least it says the driver is installed. So I think that'll have to wrap it up for now, or for this video on how to install Viper for Android on your Nexus 6P. So thanks for watching guys, and there should be a couple more videos coming out, uh, something about uh, so what I have on my phone, and another tutorial somewhere, but that, that is a little bit later down the line. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll talk to you in the next one.